Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it is now 9.54. I just finished my first period, I started at 8.30. And now the teachers have a faculty meeting, so we basically have a full period or so. So we'll get some work done and I'll catch back to you guys later. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> yeah. No, because like the last time the vlog worked out, you know? So I'm doing it again. I know. Thank All right, you. so I'm on mute right now. I asked if our group chat wanted to go on a Zoom and study together, and they said yes. So we're on like a WeChat voice call right now. Update on the voice call. We have Raina, Darren, Caroline, Jonathan, Ethan, Silver, Andy, who just joined, and me. Okay, so I left the meeting because I want to talk to you guys a little bit. So it is like one minute to my next class, which is history. We're doing online school for this first week. And normally during the full faculty meeting, I would be peer tutoring, but that hasn't started yet. Um, so basically I just had that free chunk of time to do whatever I wanted. So I got some work done. All right, see you guys after history. ended at 12. It is now 12.30 something. I just had lunch. It was a quick lunch. Um, the good thing about virtual learning is that I just get to be on the bed any time of the day. The thing is, I actually wanted to vlog my yesterday, Wednesday. It was just like a much more hectic day and I wanted to show you guys what an actual typical day is like, which was like Wednesday. And we haven't even like actually gotten this before right yet. We've just started classes again. All our classes start at 830. So I had my first class math ended at like 845 and then directly afterwards we had conference. We got to ask our teachers questions. So I went to that for like however long it was. And then I had my next class which was also for one hour and 15 minutes. And I had my next class which was also for one hour and 15 minutes. So yesterday I was in like math, French and English today i'm in physics history and i have theater after lunch after my classes i munched on some bread or something and then i went directly to my next meeting with like one of our music teachers because we're doing a piano duet this time so not true anymore piano duet um and so that ended at like 2 50. by that time i just had i it was class after class with no breaks in between i was so tired so worn out but i couldn't stop because i knew that physics homework yesterday would be hard so i got started on that physics homework um, did it for four hours, cried like three times. Sorry guys, I like, all I do is just cry over my physics homework. Every other homework there is, I just cry. Like it's my coping mechanism at this point. Um, but I finally got that done. By that time, it was like time for dinner. But before that, I got some of the reading for history done because Tuesday was our first day of class and I had so much time. I got most of my history homework done then. And so I just had to read the remaining pages yesterday. So I did that. That didn't take too long. So then I had dinner. After dinner, I got my theater homework done, which was read a bunch of articles, watch a bunch of videos. And I remember that I forgot to submit my COVID test for today, but we day students have to submit it the day before. So we don't have to go on campus on Thursday. By that time I got home, it was 8 PM. I started doing my math homework just to get ahead of things. Oh my gosh, guys, my math homework, the first problem, I spent like 50 minutes on. The, the struggle wasn't even in the calculus itself. It was in the algebra. The last question, I finally got the algebra. It was totally right. And then I realized that I rotated this solid around the wrong axis because we're doing like rotations right now and volumes of solids. You know how much effort it takes to like do one problem like that? And the fact that I rotated it across the wrong axis, I just wasted that whole energy. And so I had to do that again. But by that time I was so tired, after I was done with math, I was done. I did not want to do any other math or any other homework, to be honest. So I just went to bed. Went to bed at like 1 a.m. Normally I sleep at 2 or 3. So 1 a.m. is like, oh, chef's kiss. Yeah, that was my day yesterday. All right, I'm going to rest a little bit. <laughs> yeah, see you guys. Okay, so it's three minutes to my theater class, and I have an apple here. I got some French then. I still have to work on it, though. I got my script, ready for class. Nice, I'm in. It's exactly 2.50. I have, I still haven't eaten this apple. I should probably eat it. And I'll do some homework. I forgot to say, virtual learning is genuinely so much nicer. 
look the 10 minute blocks from one period to the next i actually have those 10 minutes to do work and normally i'd be hurrying from one building to the other building nothing's really happening like sports aren't happening and i actually have a broken ankle right now so i can't go to sports anyways but if i could it would take up two hours of my day each day that's a lot of time right transportation does not take any time and i can like wake up at 8 25. basically we're reading an adapted version of Shakespeare's The Tempest but in French and guys this is some hard stuff <laughs> if you look at the pages inside this one was fine but then over here it started getting crazy like all these English translations because I'm not actually good at French and then especially these pages this is not easy to understand I spent so much time on them but all we had to do was review these pages and make sure that we understood what we read before the break. And so I also made note cards. I'm anachronistic. Okay, I know I make note cards. People make quizzes nowadays, but note cards work really well for me. So, love ya. And I like this book too. I like what we read last term, but we like Shakespeare World. The sun has now set. Ta-da! I'm gonna work on some math and I imagine that it will take me all the way until probably after dinner. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so what I did yesterday was this assignment, the one that took me like five hours to do. So now I just have to do the, uh, this. You guys wanna see. I wanna see what we're gonna do tomorrow. Differential equations. It is now 6.30, I finished dinner. Um, hold on. Basically finished math, thought about one question during dinner that I just can't get. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, please help me with this problem I'm gonna put up right here. I can't get it, I'm, I've been stuck on it for ages. I have a Zoom with my physics teacher at seven. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just get started with English. Seven minutes to my Zoom meeting, and I just wanted to update you guys that I uploaded the question onto my Instagram story. Like, 10 people replied. None of them knew how to do it. Search it up online using those, like, intro calculators. Someone just replied. They don't know how to do it. So AI does not know how to do it. Plug into this graphing calculator. I just got an answer, but it's just completely crazy. So... I don't have hope right now. It's one of my review questions for my summative next Wednesday. I'll just have to wing it. 7.30, just finished my Zoom with my physics teacher. Guys, it was really helpful. So basically, okay. Do you guys actually wanna know about this officer? I don't know, I'll just talk about it. Okay, but I mean, I have English homework to do. So I'll like try to make it really quick. Okay, so basically, I like did this problem. So we're doing COM, center of mass, and for solids, and I just, like, I, I do it a different way than the teacher does it. And so I encounter errors, right? So basically, we were trying to find the center of mass of a hollow cone, and I did it, like, some geometrical way, and I got it wrong. I didn't understand why. So I asked the teacher, and he explained why. But then I kind of, next problem, and I did it wrong, and I got it right, so I just didn't understand. He just had to explain why it would be right for another question, but not for the hollow cone. And it's because of, like, order unity and, like, dy, dy, dy squared, dy, dy versus, like, some constant times dy. I don't even know how to explain this. I okay, got my question answered. We're okay. I'm getting more responses about that calculus question. Um, yeah. I'm gonna check if anyone got the answer and, uh, I shall do my English. Guys, I do not want to do English. Uh, the homework is so hard. Like the discussion board, I just don't know how to answer. But I have to get it over with. This is why I like gave myself four hours or five hours or six hours to do the English homework. I anticipate it will go that long. I need to hurry. It's nine forty-one. Oh my gosh! Which means I actually have time to work on something else. Let me show you guys what I worked on. So we're reading um, Dear White America, the poem. So today we had a discussion board. So like, look at all these answers, so long. 
lines over here. This took me a lot less time than I imagined it would. I think I'm gonna work on physics next again. Cause I assume it's not going to be easy. But before that, I need to reply to my friend on WeChat. I finished all my homework problems except one, which means that what I have left is to do that one homework problem and read the textbook. I'll probably do that tomorrow so I don't have that much work to do over the weekend. It's one, so I'm energetic right now. As you can totally tell, yeah, that last problem was just way too much math for me. Did not want to think about math. I think I've done enough for the day, so I'm gonna head out. Thank you for staying for the vlog. You should totally follow me on Instagram. I kind of post a lot and I think I have okay humor. Um, Yeah, see you guys next time.